Hello friends, welcome to the ISO series carried out by I4 Consultancy. Now, as we say, knowledge is all about learning. So, today we are going to learn about comparison of different standards. Now, comparing the ISO standard with the NIST in terms of an information security, they both agree on the basic definition of information security. Talking about the ISO, in terms of information security, it is given as preservation of confidentiality, integrity and availability of information. Now talking about the NIST, it defines information security as the protection of information and information systems from unauthorized access, use, disclosure, disruption, modification or destruction in order to provide confidentiality, integrity and availability. Now comparing ISO with NIST in terms of risk management. Talking about the ISO, risk management is defined as coordinated activities to direct and control an organization with regard to risk. Risk management generally includes risk assessment, risk treatment, risk acceptance, risk communication, risk monitoring and risk review. Now, in terms of NIST, the risk management is given as the process of managing risk to agency operations, agency assets or individual resulting from the operation of an information system. It includes risk assessment, cost-benefit analysis, the selection, the implementation and assessment of the security controls and the formal authorization to operate the system. Next. When comparing ISO with NIST in terms of risk, ISO is given as information security risk that is potential that a threat will exploit a vulnerability of an asset or group of assets and thereby cause harm to the organization. Risk is a combination of the probability of an event and its consequence. Now, in terms of NIST, it is given as the level of impact on agency operations including mission, function, image or reputation, agency assets or individuals resulting from the operation of information system given the potential impact of a threat and the likelihood of the threat occurring. Comparing ISO with NIST in terms of risk treatment and mitigation that is different terms, same meaning. Talking about the ISO, in terms of risk treatment, it is given as process of selection and implementation of measures to modify risk. It is documented in a risk treatment plan. Talking about NIST, risk, mitigate, uh, risk mitigation is used in terms of NIST that involves prior prior prioritizing, evaluating and implementing the appropriate risk reducing controls recommended for the risk assessment process. Documented in the risk assessment report and the plan of actions and milestones. Now comparing the ISO with the COVID framework. In terms of focus it is given as for ISO, implementation of security controls, stress on risk management approach. In terms of COVID, it is given as business oriented and IT governance in its entirety. In terms of paradigm used, ISO uses information security management system and COBIT uses planning of IT processes. Comparing ISO with COBIT in terms of scope. The scope given for ISO is standalone guidance for security and for COBIT it is 
complete IT governance of organization, including security planning. It is an integrated solution. Now, talking in terms of structure, the structure for ISO is given as 11 sections with 36 objectives which are further divided into sub-objectives. Now, in COBIT, it is given as 34 IT processes grouped in four domains that is plan, organize, acquire and implement, deliver and support and last, monitor. Comparing ISO with COBIT. In terms of organizational model, ISO is given as management and IT departments. COBIT is given as for all the stakeholders. In terms of certification, ISO provides certification that is IS certifiable and COBIT that is not certifiable for the organizations. References used are For more details you can visit our website that is www.i4consultancy.com and www.technolab.com I hope you gain knowledge. Thank you.